Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the American Israel Public Affairs Committee (IPAC) and the bipartisan Abraham Accords caucuses chairs in Washington D.C. The meeting took place on the sideline of His Royal Highness's visit to the United States of America. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to further strengthening regional, global peace and stability. Additionally, His Royal Highness noted the importance of promoting peace and tolerance to benefit people, sustainable development. His Royal Highness concluded by emphasizing the Kingdom's commitment to the principles of understanding open dialogue and tolerance. Regional and international issues of common interest were also discussed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met the President and CEO of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, Suzanne Clark, as part of His Royal Highness's official visit to the United States. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of the long-standing relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America, which are based on strategic cooperation and mutually beneficial partnerships. His Royal Highness affirmed Bahrain's commitment to further developing bilateral cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness noted that close ties with the United States creates commercial, economic and investment opportunities. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted that the U.S. trade zone in Bahrain will create a productive environment for economic, commercial and investment cooperation that will enhance the bilateral trade. Regional and international issues and developments of common interest were also discussed. And His Royal, Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the President and Chief Executive Officer of West Point Home Limited, Jonathan Whitner. The meeting took place on the sideline of His Royal Highness's official visit to the United States of America. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the importance of further Bahrain U.S. economic cooperation to increase quality trade and investment opportunities and in turn benefit both countries. His Royal Highness emphasized the vital role of the industrial sector in supporting strategic bilateral cooperation as well as commercial economic 
cooperation to increase opportunities for all. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is committed to facilitating increased regional and global trade. His Royal Highness concluded by emphasizing the contribution made by the free trade agreement between Bahrain and the United States and the latest inauguration of the U.S. trade zone in the Kingdom of Bahrain to promote U.S.-Bahrain economic collaboration. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the President and Chief Operating Officer of J.P. Morgan Chase, Daniel Pinto, as part of His Royal Highness's official visit to the United States of America. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted the depth of the Bahrain-U.S. partnership, which continues to expand across various fields. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of advancing cooperation throughout the financial services and banking sectors, a significant constituent of the projected economic growth of both nations. He also highlighted the important role played by the financial institutions in supporting the economy and enhancing sustainable development. Additionally, His Royal Highness noted the importance of continuing to strengthen bilateral commercial cooperation and coordination to further prosperity for both countries and their citizens. Economic issues and developments of common interest were also discussed. Under the patronage and presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Public Authority for Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the University's Football League competitions for the 2021-2022 sports season were concluded, with the Gulf University team winning over the Al Ahliya University. In the final match that brought the two teams together at the stadium, of the late Sheikh Ali bin Muhammad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Muharraq Sports and Cultural Club. The match was attended by the Vice President of the General Sports Authority, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, Vice President of the Bahrain Football Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Vice President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, and the Chief Executive Officer of the Public Sports Authority, Dr. Abdul Rahman Sadiq Askar. The Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Faris Mustafa Al Kohji, and the President of the Bahrain Association of Schools and Universities, Dr. Sheikh Sagar bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the President of Al Ahliya University, Professor Mansour Al Ali, and the President of the Gulf University, Dr. Muhammad Al Mashhadani, and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the University of Applied Sciences. Dr. Wahib Al Khaja and a number of invitees and fans. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the President and members of the Gulf University's Board of Directors for the university's football team winning the league title, praising the great technical level presented by the team throughout the competition. His Highness lauded the efforts of the university's administration in supporting the team and creating the appropriate atmosphere for it, which culminated in the success in achieving the title of the competition. His Highness praised the great efforts made by the Bahrain Federation of Schools and Universities, headed by Dr. Sheikh Sakir bin Salman Al Khalifa, in organizing the competition in a distinctive way, which embodied the prominent role of the Federation in implementing programs and supporting the development and advancement of school and university sports, which will have a very positive effect in supporting the Bahraini sports system. For his part, the President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Schools and Universities, Dr. Sheikh Sagar, expressed his gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for sponsoring the final match of the league, explaining that His Highness's patronage constitutes a great motivation for the union and university students at the end of the university season. The Shura Council Chairman, Mr. Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, emphasized the importance of parliamentary dialogue and forums in strengthening relations between countries and unifying stances and visions regarding various issues. He was speaking during his participation in the parliamentary dialogue forum between the Senate's Shura and equivalent councils in Africa, the Arab world, Latin America, and Caribbean. The forum convened in the Moroccan capital, Al Rabat, in the presence of speakers of parliaments and legislative councils. Al Saleh stressed 
the Shura Council's keenness on fostering parliamentary cooperation and active participation in tackling issues of common concern. The Shura Council chairman noted that the parliamentary conferences and forums represent an opportunity to highlight development in the Kingdom of Bahrain and continuous contributions to handling issues aimed at achieving more integration and cooperation between the brotherly countries and friendly countries. And the Shura Council Chairman, Mr. Assaleh, held a discussion with the Speaker of the Moroccan House of Representatives, Dr. Rashid Talbi Alami, on the sideline of his participation in the 11th Conference of the Association of Senate Shura and Equivalent Councils in Africa, Arab World, which is being held in the Moroccan capital, Rabat. The session was attended by the Shura Council Services Committee Head, Dr. Jihad Abdullah al fadl and Head of the Human Rights Committee, Mr. Ahmed Mahdi Al-Haddad, the Shura Council Chairman lauded keenness of the leadership of both the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Morocco to further deepen the fraternal ties and bilateral relations and boost cooperation in various fields. Mr. Assaleh praised the bilateral parliamentary relations and the advanced level of coordination to unify the visions and regional and international parliamentary gatherings. He commended the honorable stances of the Kingdom of Morocco and its support to Arab and Islamic causes. For his part, Dr. Rashid Talbi Alami affirmed the strong and deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Morocco, praising growing cooperation between both countries in various fields. He also commended successes of Bahrain's parliamentary diplomacy and the advanced status enjoyed by the Arab and international parliamentary unions. He also stressed the keenness of Morocco's House of Representatives on comprehensive sustainability of parliamentary relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Mr. Ali bin Saleh Saleh, stressed the importance of continuing to work towards developing the strong brotherly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Morocco. He indicated that the Bahraini-Moroccan relations embody depth and sustainable cooperation and enjoy the interest and support His Majesty the King and the King of the Brotherly Kingdom of Morocco. As Saleh noted that the high-level bilateral coordination witnessed by the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Morocco in all fields is a reflection of strong ties and multiple partnerships to achieve everything that leads to the advancement, renaissance and prosperity of the two countries. This came during the meeting of the Speaker of the Shura Council and the Chairman of the Council of Advisors in the Kingdom of Morocco, Naam Miari, on the sidelines of the 11th Conference of the Association of Senates, Shura Councils, and similar councils in Africa and the Arab world, which is being held in the Moroccan capital, Rabat. The Speaker of the Shura Council stressed the importance of mutual benefit from experiences in the legislative field between Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Morocco. Mr. Saleh expressed his appreciation and thanks to the Kingdom of Bahrain for its role in hosting Arab and regional parliamentary gatherings and conferences. For his part, the Chairman of the Moroccan Council of councillors Naam Miari praised the deep-rooted and solid relations that unite Bahrain and the Kingdom of Morocco, praising the development and civilizational renaissance. Bahrain is witnessing, wishing thanks to the wise leadership. The Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized this afternoon the 23rd race of the season, which was held for the General Sports Authorities Cups and the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Clubs Cup on the club's racing track and Rafa Sakhir. The race was attended by a number of their highnesses and an audience of horse racing fans. The Vice President of the General Sports Authority, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, crowned the winners of the General Sports Cup as he presented the fourth round cup to Hadi Ibrahim Al Afu, the fifth round cup to Hussein Ibrahim Al Afu, and the eighth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, while the Executive Director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the club's cup for the second round to the winner. Haider Ibrahim and the club's cup for the seventh round to His Highness Sheikh Hisham bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. The race consisted of eight rounds. The President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau and the Chairman of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Vice Chairman of FRIRA, Engineer Isam Khalaf, visited 
Diyar Al Muharraq Real Estate Project and Amwaj Island Real Estate Project, which are part of the periodic field visits to review the work of large real estate projects in Muharraq. On the occasion, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah highlighted the results of the comprehensive civilized development project of His Majesty the King and its visions as aspirations that aim to attract qualitative economic projects capable of comprehensive development that is directly reflected on citizens and provides them with job opportunities, a better economic life that is reflected through the plans, projects and programs of the government led by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He added that such real estate projects create integrated conditions for reviving the real estate market that are reflected in many investment and economic sectors. He called on the investors and capital owners to establish and expand such innovative projects due to the safe and profitable economic opportunities they provide, especially with a solid base of legislation that guarantee their rights. For his part, the Minister of Works affirmed that the government has managed to translate its national and development policies through leading projects it supervises and implements according to the best practice. He also noted the development of Bahrain's infrastructure as an advanced and stimulating real estate investment and an attractive point for investors. The fifth annual Dirasat Forum and the second forum for the Middle East and North Africa of the International Association for Energy Economics concluded they were organized by the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, the King Abdullah Center for Petroleum Studies and Research, the International Association, and the Saudi Society for Energy Economics under the auspices of the National Oil and Gas Authority in Bahrain. Participants affirmed the necessity of using green technologies in the field of crude oil extraction and moving from national energy strategies to the most comprehensive regional strategies, which will have a significant impact on the process of environmental and economic development. They also discussed the basic uses of oil in the industrial and services fields in light of implementing environmental friendly policies and their promising successes rate in reducing emissions and prolonging the relative feasibility of continued exploitation of fossil fuels with promising trends in gradually reducing dependence on oil and introducing alternative and renewable resources. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,231,157 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,212,340 had taken the second dose and 965,651 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 25,743 with 2,418 recoveries and 2,029 new cases and one death. There are 32 active cases receiving treatment and 16 patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,456 total deaths while 494,414 have recovered from COVID. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.